there are many different types of blood cancer. Let me mention a few of the more common ones that we treat here at Stony Brook. For example, we're talking about diseases like lymphoma, both non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and Hodgkin's disease. We're talking about diseases like multiple myeloma. And of course, we're talking about leukemia, both acute leukemia and chronic leukemia. Leukemia is a disease and actually a type of cancer affecting the blood. The blood cells don't develop normally, they don't mature. So what happens is patients with leukemia may have anemia, low red blood cell counts. They may have low platelet counts. Platelets are the blood cells that help the blood to clot. And they don't have the good white blood cells that help to fight infection. Leukemia rates have increased over the last decade, probably for a number of reasons. I think at this point we're all aware of factors in the environment, chemicals, pollutants, which cause the leukemia, as well as the fact that the population is aging. And leukemia actually is a disease of the aging population. We see it in a much higher incidence as people get older. The incidence increases significantly over the age of 65. The good news is that leukemia is very treatable nowadays. In fact, when we talk about leukemia, there are several different types of leukemia. One type of leukemia, chronic myelogenous leukemia, we can treat nowadays with a pill or a couple pills a day and eliminate every trace of the disease with people leading normal lives. Acute leukemia, can be a more aggressive disease, but more and more we're developing new treatments to treat acute leukemia as well. Patients are living longer, and in fact, we're curing a higher percentage than we ever did in the past. Many of these developments in cancer treatment are being done right here at the Cancer Center at Stony Brook. We are using clinical trials with exciting new drugs. So I think these kinds of developments, these clinical trials, these new ways of treating leukemia are leading to much better results, patients living longer, and in fact, curing patients of their disease.